Hi guys, my name is Elizabeth Fleming and I am going to teach you a couple methods to teach your child how to tie their shoes. A uh, couple things to let you know about before we get started is uh, make sure your child is ready to learn how to tie their shoes. A child normally develops the skills needed to tie their shoes between the ages of four and six. So make sure they are physically ready to, to, to master this skill. Um, it's usually better if they know their left from their right. They don't have to, but it does make it easier sometimes. And um, be sure to praise your child a lot when you're teaching them this. Like I said earlier, it's a difficult skill for them to master. So the more you praise them and the better you make them feel about their efforts in learning, the easier it will probably be. This will probably take lots of patience on your part. So um, just be prepared to show them over and over and over again. The first method I'm going to teach is um, your well-known bunny ears method. And we are um, going to start out, I think it's easier to teach a, a child how to tie their shoe using a big shoe. The laces are bigger, the shoe's easier to handle. So that's the way I do it. And um, we are going to start out taking my laces. And we're going to make an X with them. And we're going to pull one lace through the underneath side of our X. And pull it tight. And our bunny needs ears. So we're going to make one loop. And we're going to make a second loop. And then in order for our bunny's ears to stay on his head, we need to make them tight. So we're going to take our bunny ears and we're going to cross them and we make an X with our bunny ears and we're going to take one bunny ear and pull it through the hole that we have created and we get two bunny ears and we're going to pull them tight and we have tied our shoe. So I'm going to go through the steps one more time on the bunny ears method. I'm going to take our shoe laces, we're going to make an X and we're going to take one lace and go under the X and pull it tight. And we're going to make two bunny ears. And our bunny ears need to stay on our bunny's head, so we have to make them tight. And we're going to make them tight by making an X and looping one of the ears underneath our X and pulling it tight. So, this is a great way to teach your child. Um, it involves making two loops, um, but it is very easy and very effective. So the second way I'm going to teach is the squirrel and the tree. And this way is really great if you want to um, encourage tying your shoe with only one loop. Um, so we are going to make some tree roots by creating an X and going underneath our X the same way we did in the bunny loop method and we're going to pull them tight. And we've got tree roots right here. That's what we've created. And we're going to make one tall skinny tree and the squirrel runs around the tree under, jump into the hole underneath the tree and comes out the other side. And this is a great way to teach maybe a little bit of an older child how to tie their shoe. Um, it only uses one loop, like I said. So I'm going to show you again. We're going to make an X with our shoelaces. And we're going to go underneath one side of the X, pull tight, and create tree roots. And we're going to make one tall tree. And the squirrel in the tree goes around the tree, jumps into the hole under the tree, and comes out the other side. So. These are two great ways to teach your child how to tie their shoe. They're very easy. Um, the biggest thing about teaching your child how to tie their shoe is teaching yourself some patience. So good luck and uh, persevere because it can be done.